Hello YouTube and welcome to Naval Action ladies and gentlemen. Yes, I promised that I will be playing yet another Naval Action episode and here it is. This is me in a rattlesnake hitting a snow. This is one of the Admiralty missions and pretty easy one at that but hey cut me some slack. This is the first time I've loaded Naval Action in over a year and a little bit, a little bit over a year. Let's just take a look at this beautiful, magnificent ship. And um, so, like I said, it's been over a year. So be prepared for some atrocious sailing and some truly terrible gunnery from yours truly. Yes. So, without thing out of the way, let's get ready for some naval action battle. Now, if I recall correctly, I have... I believe I have carronades loaded on my uh, rattlesnake, which means I'm in for some shotgunny action. I need to get very close to this snow and I should pound her with hot lead, hopefully, and ideally punch as many holes as I possibly can. Toribio Berry. By the way, I've realized that there's been a lot of updates in naval action and uh, please guys do let me know what they are. I am aware of the wind shadow if you're sailing behind a ship that you can steal its wind and I'm really eager to actually try out that and see how it will look but you know, let me know in the state of the game and do you still like to see it on my channel? How many of you are there? Please throw a like so I have some sort of resemblance and understanding how many of you are actually interested in seeing this. And throw down a comments. and yes, um, some of the people were actually requesting for a fourth rate comparison. To be perfectly honest, I don't think that will be happening anytime soon because simply I'm nowhere near that level. And I don't have that amount of time on my hands to be able to grind it. Oh, look at this! Is this is going to be the screenshot shot for the episode? Clearly. But um, if you like it, I'll still some play some naval action battles. And uh, as you know, I'm playing the good old Britain. As you can see, I'm flying the Union Jack. So yeah, what can you do? And actually this guy, Toribio Berry, given that he's a complete AI, he's able to actually punch a few holes here and there in yours truly, but... And why? What's it with AI that it really likes going up the wind? Hmm. Yeah, it actually makes it harder for me to follow it, and from this distance, I don't believe I will be doing a lot of damage to it, but... Yeah... Well, you can always try. You know, the thing is, ideally I would want to get much closer to it, but my carronades are going to be on reload anyway, so I'm even thinking even, even a small amount of damage. If I manage to do it, why not? So, I was actually thinking turning towards him, but... Uh, I don't think, you know, Snow is the turning king and that's pretty much nothing has changed there. Rattlesnake is actually a pretty decent ship and it's actually quite armed to the teeth. So she's a beastie when it comes to fighting, but uh, she I don't think she can outsail a Snow, actually. So yeah, I'm not, it's better that I don't try to outsail it, it's rather that I outgun it. That's kind of my thought process for the day so by the way don't ask me for schedule I don't know how many and how often the naval action episodes are gonna be that largely actually depends on you my audience so this is a sort of a test shot and uh, I do like playing you know Mars Horizon and um, What's the other one? Yeah, the Transport Fever 2 at the moment, so most of my time will go into that, but I will also play a little bit of naval action as well, should enough people, you know, throw a like and I get a feeling that there's a lot of interest, I might continue playing it. So, Toribio Berry. Now I'm actually tacking a little bit into the wind 
and I'm hoping that I will be able to catch him off guard, but I think I fired my f bow chasers and now I think I'm gonna turn hard to starboard to actually be able to give him... Oh, if he's turning towards me, beautiful, okay. Hard to port then, getting ready on the carronades, lower it and hit it. Oh, this has been beautiful. Nine to the hull, three to the crew. Hard to starboard now. So as you can see, I've been hitting his starboard side mainly. And that's my plan. As always, I don't like... I'm not too crazy on capturing the ship. I just go straight for the kill if I can in the most efficient way possible. I'm pretty sure that a lot of you naval action experts will actually won't agree with me because I'm pretty sure that now this I heard from uh, another guy who I've been playing that actually dismasting is a real thing now and I'm willing to give it a shot actually quite literally uh, but um, maybe I'll do it in another episode I do have one more episode of naval action recorded where I which I was recording with a guy named called shiver me timbers and um, that was a fight of me and a rattlesnake versus a Niagara. So I have to do a voice for that. So hopefully that will be coming in the future as well. Okay, getting ready. There we go. And fire. Okay, as you can see, his rudder and pump are completely... Well, I wouldn't say busted. It's yellow, so it's not red yet. But... Uh, so far, we're doing pretty well. Which is to be expected because I think the snow has less caliber guns, if I'm not mistaken, than we do. But we have carronades, so unless we get really up close and personal, we won't be able to do a metric crap ton of damage. So, okay. Hard to starboard. Let's see if we can do another broadside. He's coming towards us. Come on, come on, come on. Oh, shoot. Nope. That was a clear example of terrible sailing. Yes. Note to myself, don't do that again. <laughs> what are we talking? Of course I'm gonna do that again. <laughs> By the way guys, let me know in the comments below, did any of you hear any more comments on the Naval Action Legends, just you know, the PvP, or is there a sort of arena mode on how do you enter it? Do let me know in the comments below, I'm really in interested to actually try it out. I've mostly been doing the Admiralty missions, which might not be the best way, and also do you lose your ships in the uh, in those engagements like arena if they're there, or they're just, you know, for kicks? All right, hard to starboard and let's hope we can do another pass. I just hope that I will be able to reload quickly enough, which seems it might be the case. Come on, you land lovers. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Reload, reload quickly, quickly now, quickly now. Get ready and fire. Okay, two shots only. Now you give me seven. <laughs> Too little, too late. Let's see if I will be able to fire at its waterline, at least from this side. There we go. Looks good enough to me. To the hull, okay. But from this distance, I'm not afraid I won't be able to do that much. And once again, I'm in irons. Serves me right when I'm looking at where my cannons are aiming rather than when I'm where I'm sailing. One of the more lessons, you know, newbie mistakes that you do after a long time not playing this, you should never, never end up in irons unless you have to finish up a ship and not even then. Because, you know, it's wind and uh, speed is everything or enough wind is everything.
All right, hard to port. Clearly, my lack of um, being in naval action shows because by now I would have this uh, snow all the way down to let's say 10% and already on its knees begging for a quick death but yeah I'm a little bit rusty sorry about that there we go depowering the sail should I rake him perhaps at this point it doesn't sound like a terrible idea okay fire there we go another one another one yeah and now I don't see shit. Fire. There we go. Fire. Fire. And now they're bouncing off. Okay, at least I managed to get some in. And like, I, did I mention that I'm not gonna get in irons again? Yeah. About that. Sorry. Okay. Put it into reverse and let it coast. On the plus side, I haven't forgotten the maneuver to actually get out of the irons, so that's a good thing. But then, okie doke, let's turn hard to starboard, that will help me actually turn. Okay, shift the sails. There we go. Okay, Toribio Berry. Let's see what you got. And clearly now I'm actually doing this as a post commentary and I'm looking at myself and I'm thinking, what the hell was I thinking with 100 meters convergence? That's only when you're sailing, you know, neck to neck and actually getting ready to actually aim straight in. I think I was trying to, you know, rake him, but that's not the best idea. I usually prefer actually going without, with a parallel convergence, that's just, you know, how it is. Okay, hard to port. I do want to end up on his starboard side. Okay, there we go. Now, 100 meters convergence, now it actually makes sense to converge the cannons. And fire. There we go. Now that's a beautiful broadside. Nine to the hull to the, the crew. And now I want to actually cross the T, but I think I'm going too fast. Yeah, and I slow down too late. Dang it. And bump. There goes my bowsprit. Okay, I have to pop up a sail repair. Now let's go neck and neck while my cannons reload and from this distance I would actually love to get a broadside in. Fire. Yeah, that's kind of devastating, ain't it? And he is now gonna pound me a little bit. Okay, you ask for it, buddy. Okay, let's get once again up close and personal. Now you fired your broadside, it's time for me to fire mine. I'm gonna aim for the waterline, hopefully. Come on, cannons reload already. And he's going battle says I'm on full sails. Oh, that's interesting. Fire. Two. There we go. His entire starboard side is gone. Now I'm gonna actually try again crossing the T. Getting half sail and then I realize that I'm going straight into the wind. Dumbass. I don't know what to say else. I clearly wasn't watching the wind gauge. That's another mistake that you can actually very easily make in the hidden of the battle. You just want to, haha, yeah, I'm gonna come on his turn and I'm gonna fire him up. And then you realize, oh, but I'm going straight into the wind. 
yes don't do that guys so as you want maybe i should call this video things not to do when engaged in battle mm, yeah possibly toribio berry okay now it would be really nice if he could play it in into my hand and actually turn hard to starboard a, f a bit more which I don't think he will to be honest fire the, the problem is for example this would be a classic example of rake and if I was going with battle sails I would be going just fast enough so I completely unload in his turn but the problem was that I was going on full sails and I was going too fast. So only the first, I think, two cannonballs actually hit the mark. So guys, stern rake is actually much harder than it originally seems because you have to time the speed, your speed of the passing ship with the rate of the fire. There we go, let's sail straight for him, gain some speed. By the way, my port side has gotten a little bit of shellacking because of all my, mainly my incompetence, but also some AI skill display there. However, my port side is still doing better than his starboard side, so I'll take that an under advisement. So, okay, I'm going slow now mainly because I want to actually turn and fire. Once again, you can see here, three to the hull, one to the cannon, two to the crew. So if this has been, if this could have been a well aimed, it would be a devastating rake. However, it was everything but. I have nine cannons and I, only three of them hit, so 30%. Hardly optimal, wouldn't you say? Hard to port. Like I said in the beginning, you will see some terrible s sailing here and some very, very subpar gunnery. I hope it will improve in the following videos because if I'll be playing more, hopefully I, things will start coming back to me, but it is what it is. Okay, so now he has gone full into the wind and i'm actually just hoping that i'm able to catch up one to the hull from the rear so if i sail at this rate i might be able to actually broadside him or stern rake him again even by a little okay he's gonna go reverse which means I should probably keep my distance a little bit. I'm going for slow. Let's hope that this ray goes better. And fire. Okay, four, one to the module. That's a bit better. All right, his pump is gone also, which is wonderful because if... Um, if I manage to drill more holes into him, he will sink more quickly. As I'm pulling away from him, I'm gonna actually try and see if I can hit him with anything, even if I get one shot in, which I didn't. He did though. Now let's see, um, I'm gonna, I was actually thinking of popping up a repair here, not that I needed that badly, but you know at some point when you get too hard hammered your controls stop responding and it starts being a little bit harder, so I'm actually gonna go here for a more favorable wind gauge because 
if I tr start turning 90, which would be directly towards him, I would be going straight up the wind, and that's not ideal. So rather than doing that, I think I'm gonna go... Conquest for Port Louis started. Good for you. I'm actually thinking of going hard to port and maybe going closer at him. Maybe see if he will fo take the bait and follow. He has the wind gauge, so he would be stupid not to press his advantage at this point. However, I'm doing better than him, so maybe... No, he's coming. Okay, he's taking the bait. Good. As you can see, sometimes you can bait him in doing things that you were thinking of doing. So this will be a rather painful exchange. He's coming to me with his starboard side. Good. I'm depowering the sails. Another broadside, see if I get one in. One to the hull, one to the sails, sure. And now I'm gonna turn hard to starboard and hopefully, yeah, he's preparing, he's bringing his guns to bear. Take an angle at which he cannot do much. He's going battle sails. Okay, so I think I'd rather actually come in a little bit closer rather than firing straight away. Okay, so now he still has the wind gauge, however, he will be losing that advantage sooner rather than later. I'm going a little bit... I'm going fast enough so I cross the T, but the plan is I don't... I don't think I will actually rake him here, but go more neck and neck. Okay, doke. Now let's see if I manage to get some hits in. Two to the hull, one to the crew. I mean. And I just thought that I couldn't be worse. I managed to surprise myself. There we go. Okay, let's go full sails, but I'm gonna actually turn... Oh, that's a nice shot. Actually, this I'm gonna take as the shot for the episode. Damage be damned. Come on, give me some. fire just the two another seven perhaps eight to the hull six to the crew okay nice he wants to press that engagement and I want really to go hard to starboard but I can because I would be going more into the wind as you can see he stopped now so I was tempted to go even harder to starboard but that would basically block me so I'm actually a little bit reluctant I was hoping to get another reload and then another broadside in before I turn hard to port fire and two more come on fire six to the hull five to the crew now I'm actually going and this part of the engagement went actually worse for me than it did for him, so mission not accomplished, but and he managed to partially repair his pump. So I'm actually gonna go hard to port, just to pull a little bit away from him. I don't want to be baited into, you know, a sword play contest, so I'm gonna go hard to port. And I'm actually gonna try and attack his weaker side, hopefully. Maybe even pop up a repair if I can. You know, changing tactics mid-fight, it's never a good idea. Okay, one leak, that's nice. Seven to the hull. That's, that, that was actually quite comforting.
The problem is if you go upwind with him, you're sitting duck and he can hit you as much as you can. But if you're moving, you present a little bit more challenging target for him, so... Okay, let's see if we can bring this fight to a close. It has been drawing too long already. I'm actually picking up speed because I plan to maybe even turn into the wind. But for that, I actually let's first flip the sails. There we go. And now full left rudder. So now I'm hoping that I will be able to tack without losing too much speed. Come on. Oof. Yeah, she's she's losing too 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 fast speed, so okay, but I managed to quickly recover from it. That's good. So I won't be sitting duck for long. Or sitting seagull, I don't know how you call those things here. So Toribio Berry, come on, let's let's finish this. You know, if I wasn't providing you with a commentary, you would think that I'm doing actually cat and mouse rather than just sh sheer display of, you know, total lack of skill and everything, but, you know, it happens. So, Torebio Berry, let's see what you got. I'm actually thinking if I should come from this end and maybe from this broadside. We'll hit turn so that we do a little bit broadside to broadside, shall we? Come on, will ya? But I don't get it. I mean, AI is firing at an angle where we should, where he shouldn't be able to actually hit me. It's almost like a little bit cheaty, I would say. Okay, depowering the sails. Make sure it's good aim and fire. Yeah, six to the hull, one to the cannon, four to the crew. It's doing better, so let's see if I manage to get a turn in and fire off another broadside because that would be kind of the ideal case scenario here. Or not, maybe I just go, hold on. Yeah, you cannot follow, can you? By the way, um, I did pop up a repair and as you can see my repair crews are about to getting finished. So I'm just waiting. I had my cannons loaded so I didn't need a full crew on the cannons. That was like a passing broadside and have it done. But uh, okay. The repairs are done, full left rudder and get every person from the repair screw back onto the gunnery. He is almost done, so I think another broadside and it will be off to Davy Jones with him. So we'll come to finish the job. Once again, I don't think I'll turn into the wind. I'm not going to be lured into that again. Going for a stop. Slowing down and fire. As you can see, now I've managed to hit three to the hull, four to the crew. So, and he is gone. Well, that's it. Thank you very much for watching, like if you liked the video, let me know how much you like it so that I know if I should make more and I will be seeing you in another episode. Thanks and bye.